All right, guys, welcome back to more PS5 Master League. So I've gotten fed up with trying to acquire Schmidt. I just feel like it should have happened by now, and if it was going to happen, it would have happened. So instead, we've kind of given up on him for now anyway, and uh, we are going with Fernandez instead of Pez United. Why? Uh, because, well, his stats are really good. So look at these. I mean, he's only 22, and he's playing in a lower division. He should be probably higher up than he is. So, I don't know, you can play centre-back, so swap with Chivu seems like a good deal. Swapping... I mean, we used to use Chivu primarily as a centre-back anyway. So it's kind of like we're swapping centre-back for centre-back in a way. But, yeah, uh, Forsetti bid has been upped as well. Another swap for Mascherano in place, and um, we've upped the amount that we're offering for that. So whether or not anything happens this time, we will see. Well, here we are, and uh, this uh, stadium's looking quite vibrant, looks very nice. Um, so yeah, preseason game six, and, and in the next one, we will be going and playing what would be UEFA Super Cup against Villarreal. So yeah, something a little bit more serious maybe in the next episode. So yeah, yet another run out for uh, Benzema in this one. And Orellana is going to start because I think Orellana was on a red form arrow. Uh, Nuri Sahin is uh, at attacking midfield and he is going to be the captain for this one today. So yeah, let's hope for a, a much better game because the last one... I mean, we were trying, but we just didn't look fabulous. And here's Orellano with a chance there early on. Almost worked out for him. Did he need to take the touch? Could he have taken it the first time there? Here's uh, Palmieri, who's uh, very far forward there. Here's Roberto Carlos. Carboni is on the bench. Roberto Carlos uh, didn't like really play the last one. Because Cabani was on a red form arrow, so there was that, and I'm not sure where that's heading off to, honestly. Here's Figo. Here's Nuri Sahin. Here's Orlano. A lot of the team. Uh, by the way, I just want to say really quickly. Oh, there it is! Finally, Benzema gets a goal. He nods one in. I just want to say really quickly, though. Um, you might be thinking, why do we keep playing in the away shirt with the red shorts? Because a lot of the teams that we're playing against in pre-season, for some reason, have got black shorts. So we're just changing it up because of that. So, yeah. But uh, nice ball out wide here. Finds Gambino. Gambino is on the left side and Figo is on the right. In the previous game, it was the other way around. Where um, Gambino was uh, on the right and I think Figo was on the left. So we're just going to swap it around. Probably doesn't mean an awful lot, but, you know, why not? Here's Palmieri. Here's Kaiser. Here's Nuri Sahin. This could be good. Could be. Here's Orellano. And here is Orellano, who is going to force a save out of the keeper there. I mean, there was not really an awful lot else he could have done. Oh, that's bad, that one there. But another team, Osasuna, I believe, who we've not played before, had a little bit of a check through, like, 500 and odd episodes just to find out, oh, yeah, we've not played this team. <laughs> Pretty much. Um, so, yeah, I, I have to say that, and I've been thinking about it. I honestly do think this pre-season has been very boring. It's probably been the most boring pre-season we've ever had, unfortunately. Um... I don't know. I mean, we we have pretty much used pretty much the same team every single match now. So, yeah. Um, that might be one factor, you might say. And not a lot of the, the the main first team has really played a game yet. So, yeah. And I'm not sure what Orellano's doing there, but he ain't going to score that, surely. If he did, he would have had brownie points, though, from me. Here is Orellano, here's Gambino, the ref waved play on there. Here's Roberto Carlos. It 
it's booted up the field here. Um, I think uh, I was ch checking the transfer window, actually. Well, the transfer market, I should say. Uh, and uh, Kevin Prince Boateng, I believe, is, uh, I think, Atletico Madrid at the, currently. And I think he's something like 26, 27, something like that. Good touch by uh, Cordoba there. Um, and he he's looking really good. He's only like an attacking midfielder, but man, he looks really good. Oh! Could have been a goal that probably maybe should have been. I think the keeper saw it late. That's gone wide. I have to say, I really do like the stadium. I know it's not anything overly amazing, but I, I really do like it. It's quite vibrant. It's quite nice. You know, in a weird way, it feels kind of small, but it's it, it, in a good way, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? Sometimes stadiums don't have to be huge to, be, um, to look good. But uh, yeah, that uh, was one thing that popped up on there. Honestly, at 12 seasons in, it's difficult to pick out anybody that fits the team, really. You know what I mean? Unless it's like an upcoming player, regen player. Because most of the really good players in the game, we've already had in this team before. So, you know, bringing players back that we've had before, I mean, we've done it a few times, don't get me wrong, but it's, sometimes it's it's just not really worth doing i kept eyeing up joe cole for example and i kept thinking do we just bring the guy back again and i'm just like but we need to move on we can't just keep bringing him back <laughs> you know what i mean um that kind of thing i suppose but yeah here is a uh, gambino for about carlos it's figo it's cafu uh, Cafu's lost the ball. You might call it a lucky header by uh, Benzema earlier on, to be honest. No, I wouldn't blame you if you did call it that. He's kept the ball in here. He's going to try the cross into the box and Orlana was waiting for it. Oh, that's unbelievable. And good shot there by, uh, I think, Nuri Sahi. here. Well, I mean, it was an all right shot. He maybe didn't have too much time to really think about it. Forced the save out of the keeper. Gambino's going to send it in. Here's Sotter. But, uh, yeah, we, we, we've eyed up, like, Tevez, for example. There's been various defenders that we've looked at. We've looked at that Fernandez today. I mean, I don't know if that's going to come off as a deal or not. If, if they really want to trade for Chivu, I don't know. But it looked really good. It wasn't Pez United the team we bought Yoss from last season? I, I want to say it was. But, yeah, anyway, I mean, that's what it is. 1-0 at half time. But let's keep going. We're doing pretty well. So, our uh, second half is here, and uh, I wouldn't say we need to really change anything. I think we're okay for now. So, uh, yeah. Let's uh, let's go. Let's get out there. There's Flano. Webbo. Offside here, though. Oh, way offside there. Palmeiras, Cannavaro, it's Cafu. Cafu's going to put a very nice ball out there to Figo. Figo finds Benzema, who uh, manages to get a corner out of it. And, oh. Benzema goes for the uh, shot. Tripped there. I hope Roberto Carlos is okay. <laughs> that was that was quite a 
quite a trip there. Seems to be fine though. Here's Vigo. Tries to make a little bit of room for himself. Nuri Sahin's shot there is deflected and behind. It just fell to him nicely, but uh, he couldn't put it away. Figo's going to pop this ball in. Uh, that doesn't find anyone. Is the keeper going to... Oh, keeper's out of his goal. It's Benzema hits the post. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my. How has Benzema missed that? was maybe harder than it looked potentially here is Cafu Oscar Cordoba is in control of the ball now Liverpool playing out from the back again here now and, uh, could be a good ball out to Orellana but perhaps not and oh, Oscar Cordoba gets to that in time oh it is an offside anyway there was no real rush for it but he did get that it was quite a boo out Oh, Roberto Carlos taken down again. It's going to be a card for that one. You never. The... No, no need for that. No need for that. Not in a preseason game. Come on, guys. Here's Cafu. That's out of play. Uh, I mean, sometimes Cafu's crossing is good, but sometimes it is not so good. Don't think that's going to reach anybody, that one. That's going to go for a corner, though. So, I forced it out of him, I suppose. In. Cannavaro's got to keep up with his men there. Oh, he just about does. The ball is into the box, but Palmieri doesn't look at it as an issue. Bino. I'm going to have a small change here. Nuri Sahin's going to come off. And uh, Inzaghi is going to come on. So Orellana's going into, I believe, attacking midfield. So we're going to try him there again. I know he's not maybe the best at it, but... Nothing really happening there. Orlano trying to find some space, perhaps. It's good stuff here, though. Here's Benzema. Ooh, something happened there. It was close to the penalty box. Uh, that was a wasted free kick, unfortunately. But Liverpool still in possession here. It's Gambino. Comes back into Orellano. Cordoba out to it. Yeah, another game that's not been very uh, exciting, honestly, but... That's how it is. Uh, Inzaghi's actually taken the captain's armband for the f last few minutes of this one, because why not? Probably already earned it at this point, hasn't he? Uh, yeah, I think there's only been like one pre-season game where he hasn't scored, I think.
He's come on late here. Whether or not he actually gets a goal, I don't know. But scrambling for the ball here. It's it's been that kind of game, hasn't it? it really has. But it's just not an awful lot happening, perhaps. And uh, I think it's going to end here. I, what a boring pre <laughs> This really has been a boring, boring pre -seed. Apart from probably the first pr uh, of the, uh, you know, if you want to, if you want to take preseason as the the first six games, perhaps I know there's like eight technically, but if you wanted to take those first six, as the other two were kind of treating them as if they were like a real life competition. I honestly got to say, it's not been fantastic from this team. I mean, it has been a much-changed team. They've defended pretty well, and we've not actually lost a game, and we've won, I think, five out of the six so far. So it's been okay, but it's been nothing fantastic, has it? It's been nothing amazing, but that's, like I say, I've said it a million times, is how it goes. Gambino is the man of the match with a 7.5. Cafu, 7.5. Honestly, I just... The way we played, like, today and, like, the previous game, I just want to slam my head against the wall, kind of, because there was just so much that could have been that just wasn't in the end. And uh, I think a lot of us will be glad to see <laughs> a lot of the first team players returning uh, very soon. But it was what it was. We won. Gambino's the uh, man of the match. And we have got, for, well, it's check again, but we've got Fernandez. We've tra traded Chivo off and we've got a centre back. So uh, the thing about this guy, though, he's like 22. So kind of treating him as, you know, one of those that's going to be sort of like sat amongst the sort of younger side of the team. So, for example, the game today, he probably would have played it if we, we had him by now. So welcome, Fernandez. That seems to be good. Um, good for the future, hopefully. And results, Charlton wanna buy Risa. What do we think of that, folks? See, I think Risa, uh, he's 37, well, he's going to be 37 next season, but I still think Risa's good to go for another season, at least. Maybe two, I don't know. I did say, and I did note last season, that he is starting to slow down a little bit, so I'm a little bit like, I'm very 50-50 about this, and I'm not sure about it. If we did sell him, it would open a gap in the team, which would allow us to actually uh, find a player on a free contract. So, like a player that's out of contract, that's up for a free, or a newcomer, for example. Uh, we could even go for Tevez, <laughs> to be honest. We could do. It's a possibility if we did sell Risa. But do we sell Risa? Is the time come? I'm not sure. It doesn't really matter what they've offered. Um, they've offered five thousand. Doesn't matter what they've offered because the money, the money doesn't mean anything to us at this point. It, you know, money's just like we've got m more than plenty of it. But Charlton want to buy him. I don't know. I don't know. But what I do know is that we need to make a quick decision on that because um, obviously we need to make it before the next game. But uh, time is running out in the transfer market. So if we were to replace Risa, we'd maybe need somebody to, you know, fill in that gap potentially. So, um, you know, we could go back in for like Schmidt again, but he's just, he's being, so he's it's like the whole Orlano thing again. He's just being a pain in the ass to acquire. And I'm just not even sh so sure about it anymore now. I mean, if we did r let Risa go, though, we could actually apply for a full-on transfer for him rather than offering a swap. So that's an option. Yeah, um, let me just check, open this to negotiation. Who's in the defenders list here? So have we got anybody that can play side back? We've got Philippe here, but we've had him before. We've got this guy here who looks actually pretty good playing at Madrid. Uh, Sheen, Kroll, hmm, it's looking okay, but I don't know. 
I don't know. I think this is a very boring transfer window. Do you, don't you guys think? Like, I feel like there's not really much about. But like I said before, you know, the favour you get in, there's not really a, an awful lot to it. Um, Col Colacini. Do we bring Colacini? I mean, we could bring potentially Colacini back for one season. I don't know. Um, I mean, Gam Gam Gambino can play wing back. Oh, he could probably play there, but I'd, I'd rather Gambino be in the midfield, honestly. And we've got, I mean, we got, you know, we got Carboni anyway, and we've got uh, Roberto Carlos to rotate. So I mean, I suppose we're okay anyway, even if we lost Risa, to be honest. But. I don't know. Need to have a huge think about it. Uh, and in the next episode, um, we are going to be playing Villarreal in what would be the UEFA Super Cup coming up for you. So, uh, yeah, going to be... Uh, I think it's going to be a much stronger team. There's Manchester United coming up after this. Probably a slightly weaker team, and then the season will finally get going after that. So, yeah. Whew. Not a totally pointless episode after all today. Not as pointless as the last one, maybe. But uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed today, guys. And join us for Villarreal next time. Take care.